Hi, I'm Arthur Piaz, I'm a PhD candidate at the Budapest University of Technology and Economics under the supervision of Tamás Tetamante. And I will present my work called Spatial Extension of the Urban Monetary System. The presentation will contain an introduction, traffic simulation, the architecture and optimization setup, followed by the results and the conclusion. So, uh, the real-time assessment of traffic conditions is essential to to every ITS application. Of course, the base of this uh, of the traffic assessment it's based on the sensors, but also how we process this data is very crucial. One way that we, we can process this data is to use it to make this traffic estimation. And we can divide it in two brands. The temporal estimation, that is to use the past values to predict the future one, that can be useful to several applications. But in the, the other thing that we can do is to use the, is to do, to do the spatial extension, that is a link-to-link -link, uh, estimation. To better explain this spatial extension, we can saw these two two figures. One, it, uh, the, the figure on the left shows the uh, a map, and the green links are links with sensors, and of course we have uh, road links without sensors that we don't have any measurements available. So. The task in hand is to use the uh, the links uh, with measurements to predict the other ones. In this way, we can extend the, the coverage of the monetary system. Special, uh, the traffic forecasting is a, a very well research field. There is a, a lot of work being done, but spatial extension is quite new fields. We have uh, in the literature only a few examples and neither of them give us uh, a conclusive, conclusive solution. To try to perform this, we are going to use uh, a simulated environment using the Sumo software and we are going, uh, we tested in this grid layout network. Uh, containing eight links. The architect, uh, we chose neural networks to do this test. Um, we chose three architectures, the time-lagged neural network, the long short term memory neural network, and the standard artificial neural networks as a baseline. Because uh, this, uh, this architecture was proposed on the literature. Uh, also, when you are training a deep learning model, uh, we have a lot of hyperparameters to tune, like the number of layers, the number of neurons, dropout rate, and so on. And we use it, this Bayesian search to fine-tune uh, these parameters to, to make sure that we have uh, a, a good set up for our neural network. Uh, also, since we're doing in this simulated environment, we don't have any legacy infrastructure, so we don't know where the, the sensors uh, will be. So we have to, to make uh, a process to place the sensors in the network. And the, uh, the process that we chose can be better explained in this flowchart. So we started with only uh, a few, sens uh, few sensors in the network. And we train our uh, neural network to, to make this prediction, this spatial extension. And after training, we chose the, the least performing the performing link and we placed a sensor in it and uh, if our uh, uh, and to save time 
uh, we didn't do the Bayesian optimization at every step uh, only when the the results of the of the network uh, did not improve uh, we did the, the Bayesian search again because uh, it was probably because the neural network was not uh, didn't have uh, good parameterization and we kept in doing this into reaching uh, a satisfactory overall performance so uh, the results attained can be seen this these results show the uh, r2 score and as expected when we increase the number uh, of sensors uh, in the network we also improve the overall performance of course that in, in real life uh, there is the drawback that uh, it will be a more expensive monetary system and we we can see these three lines one is the overall results the the best uh, the best link performance and also the worst one and uh, if you compare all the models we can see that the LST model performed the best, not only in mean values, but the result was more concise. The if you see the box plot, the the result uh, has uh, the least spread, the least variance of the four, and the worst one was the Gallo. It is uh, art, uh, artificial neural network but with the parameterization of the literature it's another paper presented in the literature and uh, we can conclude that it's possible to extend the, the coverage of the traffic monitoring system uh, without, uh, without the need of installing uh, new sensors um, also, uh, we can uh, we develop it a method to giving uh, a, a network. We can uh, use this spatial extension to to try uh, to see what's the best place to put a new sensor on the network, and from the architectures. Uh, investigated the LSTM network presented the, the best results and thank you so much for your attention